Quite a celebration, isn't it? What a wonderful feeling it must be for the people of Toulé, after all this time, to be free again. Yes, and how fitting that it was Valiant, their own prince, who was the leader of the battle which gained them their freedom. And to think we were a part of it. We fought side by side with the soldiers of Camelot. You and I, Rowan. It hardly seems possible, does it, Arne? Remember when Valiant first told us of Camelot? When we decided to join him and go in search of it? It was nothing more than a dream. And now the dreams come true. To Camelot. And to Valiant. What's going on? Oh, it seems the queen has arrived. Is she there? Can you see her, Father? Yes. Yes, there she is. Mother! Rihanna! Mother! Rihanna! My two loves. How good it is to see you again. Valiant. Didn't you invite Sir Gawain to join us? Yes, Mother. But he said he felt he might be intruding, since this is our first night together again as a family. What a kind man he is. And how considerate it was of him to accompany me on the voyage from Greystone. I was so grateful to have him there. The storms at sea were absolutely terrifying. How good it is to be home. Here in this room, gathered after dinner, warm and safe in front of the fire. It's almost as if nothing has changed. And yet, everything has changed. So much has happened. So much pain. And so much loss. stole our kingdom that day. He took much more than land and a castle. He took our innocence. I wonder if I shall ever be able to trust in the goodness of the world the way I once did. Yes, he has left his mark on all of us, I'm afraid. We've all changed. And some of us, I'm happy to say, have changed for the better. Yes, our headstrong boy has grown into a heroic young man, hasn't he? <laughs> well, if I'm a hero, Shouldn't something be done to honor me? Don't worry, my boy. The preparations are already set to begin first thing in the morning. No. No, 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 Mother, please. I was just joking. I don't want a fuss. There is to be no party. I refuse to have one. That's all there is to it. And since when, Valiant, does a prince give orders to a queen? Ah, <laughs> yes. It's good to be home. Are we ready to leave for the hunt? Yes, my prince. And I've arranged for us to take along three of the finest hunting dogs in the kingdom. We shall not return empty-handed, that I can guarantee. <sighs> Owen, this is Sir Gawain of Camelot. He will be accompanying us on the hunt. Owen is my father's weapons master and a good friend. Valiant! Gawain! <laughs> what a glorious morning. 
Your mother has given us strict orders to return as quickly as possible with the biggest boar we can find. Your Majesty. <clears throat> she intends to have it roasted and served as the main course at your banquet tonight. Oh, yes. The banquet. Don't sound so down in the mouth, boy. If you're going to be a hero, you'd best develop a taste for banquets and honors. They're among the most pleasurable parts of the job. He's heading towards the river, Valiant. I see him, Gwen. Don't worry, I've got him. <laughs> I fear there's a storm coming, Your Majesty. I had forgotten how treacherous a season autumn is in Toulé. It was a nasty fall you took, boy. How do you feel? Fine. Fine. He feels fine. But I ache in every bone. <laughs> oh, the injustice of age. Father, the storm is getting worse. We'd best take shelter till it passes. Your Majesty, the hunting lodge has been kept in repair during your absence. Good. We'll wait out the storm there. You look worried, Father. I am valiant. Well, I'm sure the storm will pass in time for us to make it back to the castle for Mother's banquet. That's not what concerns me now, Valiant. Before I can think of celebration, I must decide what is to be done about Sinan. What is there to decide? Sinan attacked us without cause. He stole our kingdom and forced your people to live in slavery. Deal with him as you would deal with any other bloodthirsty animal. Kill him. No! Answering violence with violence will solve nothing. Truth be told, Valiant, I would like nothing better than to take my sword to the dungeon and cut him down like a dog. Father, it was you who first taught me that reason and order can triumph over anger and hatred. And what you told me was true, Father. Might does not make right. Justice can prevail over violence. I've seen it happen in Camelot. There, crimes are not punished by the sword. Instead, the criminal is given a trial he is judged by a group of his peers. You call that justice? Giving a murderer a trial instead of an arrow through the heart? An arrow through the heart is what Sinan gave my wife and my son. Don't you speak to me about justice, boy. Owen! Forgive me, Your Highness. Your Majesty, I have to know. What is it you intend to do with Sinan? What is right? I must allow him to stand trial. Then I must disavow my loyalty to you, my king. And I must seek justice elsewhere. I hate autumn. It is a wicked season. A harbinger of endings and decay. A time when fullness is past and passion is slipping into memory. It is a stealthy hand stealing away the heat fading the glorious colors of summer, leaving in their place loneliness and heartbreak. We shall miss you, Valiant. I wish you weren't going, but I know that at Camelot, as a knight of the round table, you will make us all very proud of you. Mother, 
I'm not a knight yet. But you shall be, soon. If Arthur is half the man you describe him to be, he knows that knighthood is your destiny and that the time has come to fulfill that destiny. I love you, Mother. Valiant, we must set sail immediately if we are to complete our journey before the next storm arrives. Goodbye, my boy. Know that wherever you go, whatever road you follow, our love and our prayers will be with you. Thank you, Father. <laughs> For you, Your Majesty, from the people of Tule. He's going, Willem, and we may never see him again. I know, my love, but he has set out on a voyage that is taking him to greatness. The king has sent a coach to fetch them home from the coast. Doing that is not going to make it any faster, boy. I know, but I need to see Valiant and the others the minute they come over the hill. I want to be the first one at the gate. But the first one to welcome them home to Camelot. Here, place this at the foot of the bed. The bed's all made up. I just finished with it. And I've swept the floor and washed the window, too. Have I done well? You've done an excellent job, Dennis. Excellent. And I will do the same on every task you assign me, Sir Bryant. You see, someday I hope to be a knight of the round table. To be a hero, just like you. Please, lad. Do not refer to me as a hero. I prefer to be regarded as what I am, a good soldier. I find the trappings of heroism tedious, the endless banquets and pageants and ceremony. No, I have no need of medals and speeches. My reward is that of the job well done, the fight well fought. When I have died, I do not want a laurel wreath placed upon my head. I want instead a soldier's helmet. Sir Bryant, look! It's Valiant! He's here! Valiant! Valiant! What took you so long getting here? I've been waiting and waiting. I want to hear all about the battle and how... I'm afraid that will have to wait, Dennis. Right now, Valiant has other business to attend to. Yes, I must see King Arthur right away. I want to tell him about our victory over Sinan. He is already aware of it. But how could he possibly? I sent word back via carrier pigeon days ago. Even so, I'd better see him. I'm sure he'll want to hear the report firsthand. No, Valiant. King Arthur does not wish to see you now. You are to see him in the throne room at 6 o'clock this evening. Those are his orders. We've been gone a long time. It's good to be home. Uh, I'd almost forgotten how chilly it can get in here. I'll start a fire. The place seems empty without Valiant, doesn't it? Why do you suppose he wasn't allowed to come home with us? Why he has to stay at Camelot until it's time for him to see the king? You know why. Yes. I guess I do. He's going to be made a knight, Rowan. Yes. I am happy for him, Arne, really. It's just that, that I always thought that knighthood would come to all of us at the same time. Oh, we dreamed of Camelot and knighthood, the three of us, for so long. But the dream was Valiant's before it was ours. I remember. He told me of it the very day we met. Mm, a meal fit for a king. I have never tasted fish so delicious. Have you really had nothing to eat in three days? Four, actually, if you count the day I left my home in the marsh. I happily filled your grumbling belly when it was empty. Why do you repay me with lies? This is no hand hailing from a marsh. It's unlike any I've ever seen. It hasn't a single callus. It could be you're a thief. <clears throat> You'd best think again if you're a highwayman come to rob me of my worldly goods. <laughs> a highwayman come to rob you? Certainly not. I am a prince, and I am in search of Camelot. <clears throat> By any chance, might you know where I could find it? I've never heard of the place. It seems as if so little time has passed, and now so much has changed. But 
will never change, Arn. You and Valiant and I will always be together. Now, come on. We have to get dressed. Sir Brian said we had to be back at the castle by 6 o'clock, and this is one ceremony I don't think we should be late for. <sighs> oh, my goodness. It's so beautiful. It shines like the sun. Have you ever seen such a tunic? No. It is yours, Valiant, to wear beneath your armor when you see the king. Would I become a knight of the round table? At last, the time has come. Don't look so serious. Smile, boy. This moment is one you will never forget, Valiant. You are about to be honored as a soldier and as a man. To be recognized as one of the bravest and best. Yes, think about it, boy. You're about to join the ranks of those envied by their fellow man and adored by every maiden who draws breath. Well, boy, are you ready? I hope so, with all my heart. Wait here, Valiant. A page will come for you when it is time. I am to be a knight of the round table. From this moment forward, you shall be known as Prince Valiant, Knight of the Round Table. Valiant, isn't this exciting? To be leaving on our first quest already. To soon be going into battle. Just wait, you'll see. I'll be the best squire a knight ever had. 
And someday, I'll be a knight, too. A sword at my side, riding into the thick of battle, cutting the enemy down with a single stroke. To want to be a knight, Dennis, that is a fine and noble dream. But as for battle and killing, there is little beauty to be found there. Only pain and misery and death. But Valiant, without fighting, how do we stop the wrong? I wondered the same thing when the messenger brought this to me. It says that Sir Mordred is amassing an army, and that he may be planning to attack Camelot someday. Yes, and that he is gathering his army with Owen's help. Owen? My father's old weapons master. He was once a friend of mine. Well, come, Dennis. It's time for us to go. Your troops are waiting for you outside the gate. You'll do well, Valiant. They're a fine group of soldiers, handpicked by Sir Gawain and Sir Brian. I will do well, because I have been taught well. Thank you, Merlin. Go with God, young Valiant. Go with God.